Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Rahul, and in this video, we'll be looking at a challenge called the Spelling Quiz. So the description says that I found the flag, but my brother wrote a program to encrypt all his text files. He has a spelling quiz study guide too, but I did not know if that helps. So there are no hints whatsoever in this category in this uh, challenge, and the challenge provides us with a public dot zip file, which I have downloaded. So if you can see that there are three files, one of them is encrypt.py, the second is called flag.txt and as you can see it is gibberish, it doesn't make sense. If I were to see the number of lines in study guide, you can see that there are quite a lot of study uh, lines in the file. But let's just go to encrypt.py file first and look at the logic. So when I first read it. I read it it did not make sense because of the fact that I'll tell you right now if I were to just comment this out and you have just because something is being stored in dictionary so if I were to print it and if I were to exit it over here and import And we have to run Python encrypt. You can see that it shows that this, this, the syntax is invalid, and this is what did not make sense because generally this is the, this entire thing is being stored in a dictionary, and I did not know what this means. And even the Python interpreter is throwing an error, so this is something fishy over here. So I did not dig down in this rabbit hole. So what I just did was I type in nano study guide.txt again you can see that this doesn't make sense because these are just a bunch of letters which are encrypted or just shifted for that matter because generally what will happen is in these CTF competitions you will either be provided with a rod 13 cipher or visionary cipher or simple mono substitution ciphers so let's just do one thing let's type in cipher analyzer the first thing that will come is called box intrigue and we'll go to that website paste in the cipher and as you can see it says that the cipher type text is likely to be mono alphabetic substitution cipher so what we do in mono alphabetic substitution cipher is we perform frequency analysis on the words and based on the frequency analysis we try to figure out which word or which letter is has been substituted for which letter so for example e could have been substituted for t and s could have been substituted for a but that depends upon the frequency analysis so either you can manually do frequency analysis or you can take help from uh, online resources like box and tree so what i'll just do is i paste in it and type or and click on auto solve and as you can see some of them make sense for example stock rooms and paperweights so i don't think that the cipher texts were enough so let's just do one thing let's paste in more because to perform frequency analysis you need a lot of cipher texts and now it does make a bit more sense green heart babstree stock rooms so now let's do one more thing let's just copy our cipher text and the flag dot t in the flag dot txt file and let's just paste it right over here let's just see if it solves it and as you can see perhaps the dog jumped over was just tired so this is supposed to be the flag for the challenge pico ctf with underscores As you can see, this 